Hey you guys and welcome to my channel. I am Chakisha Sims of Her Lovely Plan. <laughs> Had to get my Vanna White on. But I'm here in front of the camera today because I was tagged in this amazing, ginormous collaboration um, and it was created by Southern Tea Time and Crystal Clear Ideas and it's called Planner Babe Tag. And basically what this is, is just a video collaboration, um, kind of like how I go and see tag your it or maybe duck duck goose. I don't know. <laughs> but basically um, you answer um, a list of questions um, and it's designed to kind of allow us to get to know each other and figure out how we got into planning and what are our planner essentials and things of that nature. So I was tagged by quite a few people and I do apologize if I don't mention everyone's name, but for the names that are coming from the top of my head, um, I have of course Southern Tea Time, the originator of this whole thing. She tagged me. Shout out girl, love you. Um, I was tagged by Karen of um, Crushing Goes with Karen. I was also tagged by Prey Slay. I have to always say that slow because it's like a tongue twister. And I was tagged by my girl Shay Budgets. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into answering those questions. I hope y'all stay tuned just to get to know a little more about the planner babe that we call her lovely plan. Okay, so I'm gonna be looking this way at my iPad just so I can make sure I answer all the questions. So the first question is, what bag do I carry my planners in? I carry my planners in this big old backpack. Um, this is my everyday bag. I take this to work with me because I am a hairstylist, so it carries a lot of stuff. Um, and as you can see, I mean, the depth of this, I can even put my laptop in here. I just got my lipstick on here. Boo. I can even put my laptop and just to kind of show you, this is like a 15 inch monitor, I think. Um, so that's my bag that I put my planner in. Um, typically, if I go out and I go to church, I can fit um, my standard size traveler's notebook and my um classic size planner in my bucket size purse and let me show you the size of that so you can kind of see so i normally take something about this size to church and it typically can fit my classic my standard size traveler's notebook and a wallet this size and also a makeup bag so it kind of fits i mean it's a little thick but it gets in there and it zips up so that's what i use when i go to church on sunday let's see how many planners do i actually use at one time so i actually have one two three four five six i have seven planners however i know that sounds like a lot but as I said in my, um, in most of my videos, and I think I said it in my 2019 planner lineup video, and I try to make sure that I include the links to these things because I did do a video um, that explains um, some of the planners because I did add some additional planners to my lineup um, <laughs> since that 2019 video. Um, but not all of them go with me. Most of them stay home. So the ones that I use 95% of the time are, well, let me say it like this because it's kind of hard to explain. So I, um, I have my standard size travels notebook, which is this one right here. This is my EDC, my everyday carry. So this has everything that I need day to day. This Travels Notebook is my B6, and this was one that I use for my YouTube, um, social media. And so these two go with me every day pretty much because I want to make sure I kind of keep a track of certain things that I have to do um, on my YouTube channel and so forth and so on. This Travels Notebook, I actually use as a memory planner. So this one doesn't get used that much, that much, because it's only when I decide to memory keep in it. 
Um, and then I have these four happy planners. My budget, my faith, and my business, and my church notes planner. These all stay home. I never take them with me. And I update my budget, classic, um, faith, and my... um other classes that's my business one i update them every day but they stay here so to answer the question i feel like i went all the way around the circle just to answer i use two of my planners a hundred percent of the time the other three i use every day but not that often like i don't look in them all the time so i hope i answered that question right I use my faith planner every day, but I leave it home. So the planners that I take with me all the time are my two travels notebooks, the standard and the B6. I feel like I confused myself with that one. What is my planning routine? So, um, I really don't have a, uh, a routine. I do try to stick to a filming schedule of Saturdays and Sundays. Um, I typically, when I get home from the salon, I come straight in here if I'm not tired and I'll try to do a couple of videos and then Sundays after church because typically my husband will come home and nap um, so I normally do one video after him and then I'll do um, YouTube live and then I try to get another one in um, Mondays are my um, carryover day so if I don't finish everything that I need to finish I finish on Monday and that also includes editing um, and any voiceovers and uploading um so that's pretty much it um in regards to what my um planning routine is i mean i come sit at my desk pull out you know i normally um i have this whiteboard here that i just added to my wall just to kind of put my filming schedule and stuff like that so i can at least even if i don't finish it at least i can see right here because i mean I, I do put it in my planner but sometimes you want to be able to just be right here and see everything that you need right here and i need to tack this down some more okay so the next question is what snacks do i eat during filming or planning i don't eat snacks when i'm actually planning i might eat some chips which are normally like salt and vinegar like in between but when I'm planning, the only thing that I may literally consume is coffee in water. But mostly coffee. The next question is, when do I start planning? And oh, when did I start planning? And how did you get introduced to the planner community? So that's a two-part question. I started planning in a planner and i'm going to show you the planner <laughs> i started planning in this planner right here is the ashley g planner that came from target and i started planning this in june of 2017 no july 2017 and the only reason i started planning in this is because um i went to a christian women's conference it was called women of wealth and um, one of the speakers was just saying how she has so much stuff going on. Sometimes the cell phone is just not, you know, it's not a good way to keep over your schedule. Your battery might die or if you have kids, your kids may have the phone. And also sometimes things happen. You lose things if you switch phones. So she always carried around a planner so she can always have a backup to her plans. So I started doing just this regular kind of planner, just keeping my dates and stuff, whatever I kept in my phone. I made sure I kept it here so I wouldn't, you know, forget or lose my data. Um, so then in, let's see. December of 2017, um, I went to a family meeting and my cousin on my husband's side, she had an Erin Condren teacher planner because she's a teacher. And I was like, oh, that is so cute. So she gave me her code and I ordered her planner and I actually started planning 
and decorating in a planner in January of 2018. Um, so January 2018, I was actually, well, December 2017, I was introduced to these functional planners, um, which I call them. And in 2018, I got introduced more into the decorative because I got the planner and I was on Instagram and, you know, we hashtag everything. So I started hashtagging and looking up Erin Condren planners and all these stickers were coming up. And um, then I started seeing the happy planner. And like around March, I converted to a happy planner because I like the disc style to be able to take the pages out because that spiral would always get in my way when I would write. It was like an awkward kind of writing. But so I would say the decorative part was December, no, January 2018. So I've only been in the game for a good year. Um, yeah, so that's that. Life before planning, productive or not? I would say it was pretty productive because I've always been organized. I always had to have things in its perspective places. Um, but a lot of stuff I would do was from the top of the head um, and in my phone. Um, so I would say I was productive. Sometimes things did slip through the crack because I didn't have a reminder on paper or I might not have um, put it in my phone. But by me being a hairstylist, and scheduling appointments I've always been a scheduler I've always been a person that tried to always keep things in line based on the timing and things like that so I would say I was productive before planning this has just made it a lot better um, because you know I am getting up in age <laughs> so I, for me the more I write it down the more I remember that I have things to do and that's another reason why I like to have a lot of planners Okay, next question. Do you prefer sticker kits or creating my own spreads? So, that's kind of a toss up. Um, before I got into the Traveler's Notebooks, I love creating my own spreads. I actually have like about four kits that I ordered um, because when I first got into playing, I just was ordering all the things. I still get all the things, but I would go on these, um, sites and see all these cute stickers. And I'm like, well, I just ordered kits. So I never really used them. I think I did one full kit layout and that might've been in my Erin Condren before I switched to Happy Planner, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know, but I think I only used a kit in like two or three spreads so with that being said i love creating my own layouts um because it's personal it's unique it's you but i do love the kits in my travels notebook so i i guess my answer to that i'm sounding real indecisive my answer to that is i like both of them i don't have any partiality towards any i like to mix and match sometimes i add the kits along in with my you know own design so i actually like both. okay so i guess this is a part of number eight and i'm not even keeping count of my answers um there are 12 questions so the second part to eight is what is the mo what is the most you have spent at a store for planning supplies if i could think off the top of my head maybe 40 dollars and that was like at like a Michael's, Joann's, Hobby Lobby, one of those stores. And I got a lot of stuff because it was on sale. Um, and I think that's why I ended up spending a lot because I'm like, oh, this is 50% off. This is 60% off. Oh, this is a dollar. This is that. So, yeah, I, I want to say like $40. I don't think I ever spent more than $40. Not even on my subscription boxes. Any of the subscription boxes that I get are like between... 27 and 40 dollars yeah so i've never spent over let's just say on the safe side i never spent over 50 dollars in or on planners on planner supplies number nine do i prefer spiral discs and or journaling style so as i kind of rambled about when 
when did I get introduced to planners? I prefer disc and I guess journaling is like the inserts that go into the travels notebooks. Um, but if I had to rank number one, I love disc bound because I've always been the kind of writer, um, like I can't write with the paper straight. I've never been the type of writer that can write like this. My paper always has to be like this. It's just the way I write. So in a spiral, it makes it hard, especially when you get to this little part. Like this spiral is cool because it's so small, but the large spirals, ugh. So anyway, I like this bound because I can take them out, move them around, and especially like with washi, some washi, it's like left-handed washi, if that makes any sense. Like the tape pulls out this way instead of that way. So that's why I like love disbound journaling or inserts. I'm going to say I love that because you can fold it. You can lay it flat. You just, you just don't have anything restricting you. So spiral does not get in the lineup at all. I don't like spiral. I have a lot of spiral notebooks. They're cool, um, but I don't like spiral. <laughs> Number 10, my favorite planner supply. That's a hard one because all my supplies that I have, I love. So, let's see. Let me make sure. Okay, I wanted to make sure it wasn't a question. So, supply. Um, oh, I know. My favorite plan of supply are my VB or Villa Beautiful pens. I don't have all the pens, but I have enough of the pens. And I keep them right at my desk. Um, so when I want to write, I just pull one out. It doesn't matter. And then they make amazing props in your pictures. Um, and then typically, like with my TNs, um, depending on the color of the spread or the... Um, the planner, I'll use a pen that matches it. So this is my favorite planner supply. Supply Number 11, my favorite thing to plan. <sighs> Number 11, my favorite thing to plan. Hmm. I don't really have a favorite thing to plan. Um, but I feel like I'm forced to answer that question. Am I succumbing to peer pressure? Hmm. I really don't have a favorite thing to plan. I just love planning. Um, I just love planning. So my favorite thing to plan is plans. <laughs> okay, any funny planner stories? I'm trying to blank. Any funner planner stories? I feel like this video is gonna be so long <sighs> because I don't know. And I feel like I'm taking more time to think than to answer. I'm either thinking too long or rambling too much. But what is a funny planner story? I really don't know. I really don't know. Maybe I'll circle back around by the end of the video. Wild card. What is my favorite planner tool? So, I have to give you my top three. Because it just wouldn't be right. I can't show partiality. So, currently, these are my favorite planner tools. I finally got some Tombow Whiteout, yes! 
So I love white out because I don't like to create spreads with a specific color in mind and then that actual page has a color that doesn't match. And then now that I'm doing traveler's notebooks, this TN is like this <laughs> this Tombow is like everything. So white correction tape, a must have. My X-Acto knife, I have another one that I got, but I really like this um, one with the finger. It's a Fiskar. I like this one because you can get, and I do a lot of carving out around my stickers and stuff. So this is perfect so I can get right on in there. And then my newest gadget that I just cut my finger. Maybe that's a funny planner story. I'll get to that. So anyway, so this is my newest gadget. Absolutely love it. It looks like a pizza slicer. But this thing is everything. This is also a fist scar. And this is a rotary cutter. So um, since I started doing Traveler's Notebooks, I have finally got into the printables. And I've been printing a lot of inserts. And I've been using my slicer, the actual big one. But it's hard to do a lot of sheets at one time. But with this and a ruler, I mean, I can literally go over an eight pages even fold it in half. So that would be 16 pages kind of because you're folding them. But anyway, I can go over them like two or three times max and slice the pages to the size that I want. So this thing right here, this is life. And they're not that expensive. I got it from Michaels. And you know Michaels always got a coupon. And they do... What is that? The competition kind of thing? Where if you got a coupon from somewhere else, competitive pricing. That's what it is. Okay, bonus question. Show me your washi stash. Is it out of control? Ironically, this is my washi stash right here. Um, As you can see, I'm not going to take the drawers all the way out. My drawers are pretty much full to capacity. Um, this one has a back row that's not full. So these ones right here have, they're not completely full, but um, they will be soon because I've been ordering a lot of Simply Gilded. Yeah. So yeah, so my washi stash is not out of control, but it's a lot. And it's funny because I used to buy a lot of washi when I first got into this planning thing. And, um, yeah. I think it's a lot. Especially since I don't use it that much. So my funny planner story is, it just actually happened. I mean, it's funny to me. So Sunday, I sliced this finger and it was like, killing me so then i decided to cut some inserts um with my rotary cutter and i had it still open and i literally barely touched this blade and i just started bleeding everywhere so yeah i'm a clumsy planner put it that way i cut myself a lot a lot of times i edit it out i stay poking myself with my exacto knife so if it's funny, you know, because I'm stabbing myself when I'm planning, then it's funny. So anyway, so that is um, everything to know about her lovely plan and my planning style and all of that stuff. Um, it seems like everybody that I know have already been tagged. So whoever is watching this video, I tag you. You are next. Post your video and shout me out and let me know that you have accepted the challenge so i hope this is informative i hope you didn't get confused with any of my answers um i realized like literally at the end i didn't have my mic on so i apologize if the sound quality is not that good but i really don't have the time to re-record <laughs> 
So anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And since y'all are here, if you haven't already done so, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell so you never miss a video or live stream. And as well, share this video with your planner friends so they can get down with the planner babe tag. So until next time, planner fam, peace.